Now that you have the Manoa mask, all that's left is to participate in the ceremony. Perhaps you are, perchance you are feeling nervous, but never fear. Despite all the pomp surrounding the role, there's really nothing to being an emissary. All you are required to do is wear the mask, stand up straight, look dignified, maybe be a human sacrifice if things are going poorly, but most years they go very smoothly. The more involved aspects of the proceedings will be handled by others. Simple, no? The ceremony will be handled at Mikoto's Amphitheater. When you are ready, make yourself known to the caretaker there, a woman named Estain, and be sure you get this done before a seasonal holiday or it'll be very confusing. Oh, and be sure to wear your mask, or she may not recognize you. Now, off you go, Meteor. Good luck. The mask makes sure that all human sacrifices, I mean emissaries, look alike. Okay, so now I need to equip the mask. What? 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 Bom, 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 bom. Look at that. Shows up on a Roth. Boom. That's so exciting. I wasn't sure it was going to. All right. The mask is incredibly important. And that is why it doesn't show up on Rothgar. <laughs> it does just kind of hover in front of their face. So, like, it's not... It's not really restricted by, like, the face shape, right? Because there's... It literally just sits at the end of my nose. So if there's a seasonal event going on, is the stain always here? One week from today, Little Ladies Day starts. And like a lot of seasonal events take place here in the amphitheater. What happens if one of the seasonal events is going on when we need our ceremony. She's still there. Interesting. Ah, you must be the emissary. I see you have come prepared. That is well. I have been instructed to escort you to your place. Please follow me. Did they tell you you'd be a sacrifice? I mean, emissary. Look! Look. Oh. Who's voiced? The Elder Cecia. Twelve bless her heart! May he find favor with the elementals. Crystal of light? 
Tell me true. Has the Mother Crystal revealed herself to you? Did you bask in her light? We're going to talk about this publicly? Have you, perchance, experienced sensations akin to ether sickness of late? Oh, yeah, totally. That Hydaelyn would speak directly to this man. There once were dauntless adventurers who fought in the name of Eorzea. When the primals threatened to bleed the land dry, these brave men and women rose to face them. When the Garlean Empire resumed its war of conquest, they rushed to the realm's defense. And when it was foretold that Dalamud would fall, they fought with all their strength to deliver us from certain doom. Yet as strong and as brave as they were, they, like so many, disappeared amidst the flames at Cartano. None have forgotten the heroes who gave all for the sake of a realm not their own. Yet when we try to recall their names, we find the pages of our memories are blank, as if bleached by the sun. And when we try to recall their faces, we see them only in silhouette, as if they stood betwixt us and a blinding glare. Hence have these heroes come to be known as the Warriors of Light. Beholding you, illuminated by the glow of the crystal, I could not help but be reminded of them. The crystal has chosen you for a purpose. Trust to its guiding light, and all shall be revealed to you in good time. Though none can say for certain what the future will bring, it is my belief that you may yet play a telling role in the tale of this great realm. For the power of the Echo resides within you. Better? Worse. Better. Oh, God. Look at that. I'm coming, bud. That's my dog. He wants to Flames see the cutscenes. to the fore! Victory belongs to the bold! Show those Imperial whore sons what we're made of! <laughs> the left flank buckles. Divert the Barracudas. Bid them hold that position, though it cost them their lives. The Yellow Serpents are in need of succor. Pray, send the White Wolves to their aid. The adventurers risk life and limb for our cause. We must not fail them. Is aught amiss? No, it is nothing. N okay. You just have information that oh, uh, you're not going to share? Cool, cool. The barrier won't go down so easily. Eyes forward! We are being watched. Yeah, you knew that the first time. Raging Bull, calling Bloodthorn. Bloodthorn, respond! 
Respond, damn you! Can you guys picture why we unplug it when it's a nice day and he needs to just stay outside? The doorbell in the background. Raging Bull, this is Matt Snake. Respond. Ryder, this is Raging Bull. What news? We're surrounded by a blaze. There is no way out. God preserve, what is that thing? What's going on? Speak to me! God damn it! We cannot hold much longer! <laughs> Mad Snake! Mad Snake! Answer me! Oh, it's such a silly name. It's just hard to take anybody seriously. Mad S My father is Mr. Mad Snake. Damn it. Damn it all to the seventh hell! What of the Barracudas? Can they not be reached? Uh-oh. Sorry, Admiral. Shell's not working. What of our own? I cannot say, my lady. That monstrosity appears to be disrupting our communications. We must keep trying. Call till they respond. Yes, my lady. Admiral, General, we can do no more. We must give the order to withdraw. I will not forsake Louis Soi. General, please. Victory may belong to the bold, but there will be no victor this day. Well, not you if there's no this bold. to be true. Let us not sacrifice lives in vain. The adventurers fight bravely, but to no avail. Let them withdraw, and let us be the ones to stand with Louis Soi. Delay previous orders. All Maelstrom units are commanded to fall back effective immediately. Give the foreign levy priority. Let the main host cover their retreat and bring up the rear. Damn it! Relay the order. All flames are to withdraw. I don't care if our link shells are useless. You still have a working pair of legs, don't you? Well, use them, you bloody halfwit! See? Fetch quests. They still existed back then. I would have rather him than Venphilia. The this battle was long since decided. Can you imagine instead of Menphilia, it's Rabon like, You have legs? Use them! Pray return! <laughs> Better to retreat now than risk a massacre. This dark, stifling presence. Who or what? We go to take our place beside Archon Louisois. To your positions. Kazbamul, so ginin moise donzul. Logalo, asawad deken bed mu. Imarat way, kis katoga hats wadadorns. Seize me again. Fis dun the only lamb rides a die dawn. <laughs> 
So that's the language of the ancients. It's what the um, Lapareets spoke before they had to learn whatever is English or whatever it is we're speaking. I have no idea if the uh, dragons can speak ancient. I know Shadowbringers and Forward lore. I don't know a lot of this older lore. Huh. Look who's back in the land of the living. Hmm. You mean to say you don't remember a thing? You collapsed in the middle of the ceremony. Gave us all a good fright. So we carried you back here. I must say, you're heavier than you look. You've hardly stopped of late. Your exertions must have caught up with you. <laughs> Silly me, I've been telling you to do things constantly. But your adventures are no you adventurers are nothing if not resilient. Seeing as the worst is past, I shall take my leave and return to my duties. Oh, I almost forgot. The elder seed seer told me she'd like to see you when you felt well enough. The gentle soul was almost as worried about you as I was, bless her. When you're back on your feet, be sure to visit her at Lotus Stand. Okay. Um, at some point I need to do that. And then this is the, still 14. So 24 MSQ is where is the goal for today. Right? That's the objective. Um, not sure if we'll make it or not, but that's what makes, that's what keeps us on pace. We'll see. I do think I had this Aetherite, but I'm not sure I have the um, Amphitheater. So let me just lick a couple more Aetherites and then we'll be off. Make sure I have all these. Oh, I do. Cool. And do I have that one? Yes. Great. Could have saved a little bit of time. Silent Conjurer. Does that mean you're not going to talk? Ah, you're Meteor Turplander, aren't you? I, I bid you welcome, sir. The Elder Seed Seer left word that you would be joining her in the Lotus Stand. May I show you in? Sure. we go can I can I have one of these can we sit oh I still have my ceremonial mask on well I mean that's the only way you're gonna recognize me right that's how you met me I look forward to your coming meteor but tell me are you recovered I am most glad of that now I hope you will not doubt doubt the earnestness of my concern, but I would ask a favor of you, nor can I deny that I summoned you here in part with this in mind. Now, know, however, that I proceed only upon the understanding that you are rested and well. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for hearing me out. I have written a letter to my counterparts in the Aorzean Alliance. The Battle of Cartano and the Calamity that followed claimed countless souls and left countless more bereft and alone. 
In the dark days that followed, many were the survivors who thought themselves less fortunate than the dead. Five years have come and gone, but the land and the people still bear the wounds of the devastation. Nor are we any closer to learning the fate of the warriors of light. Yet, so long as we live, never must we give up hope. We owe this to those who laid down their lives that we might behold another dawn. In remembrance of them, a memorial service will soon be held upon the anniversary of the Battle of Cardinal. This missive bears the details of that service. You graciously accepted the part of the emissary in the recent ceremony. Should you be so willing, I would now make you my envoy and have you bear my message to our allies. Your dedication to the people of Gridania rouses fond memories in me, and I would choose no other for the role. Will you do me this favor? Humbly, I thank you. As you are no doubt aware, our partners in the Eorzean Alliance lie some considerable distance away. Nor are Ulda and Limsa Lamensa close to one another. Yet fear not, for I have no intention of subjecting you, my only new appointed envoy, to a journey which would take weeks by land. No, I mean for you to travel by air. Receive of me this airship pass. With it, you may make use of the skyways that connect the three city-states of the Alliance. The airship landing is situated upon the lower floor of the Carline Canopy. Simply show your pass, and you will be admitted to the departure area. Before you embark upon your journey, however, you would do well to seek the worldly wisdom of Mio. Few firstborn Gridanians know more of the lands beyond the Twelveswood than she. In better times, airships were available for the convenience of one and all. Alas, the risk that our crafts may fall into Imperial attack has forced a reduction in the number of flights. Consequently, it's become necessary to restrict air travel to only those whose need is great. Such individuals may petition the relevant parties to be issued an airship pass. As you may have deduced, I myself am one such party. Yet I was not alone in desiring that you be granted privilege of air travel. Such is the potential you show. We have no doubt that you will reward our faith in you, my dear. By the power vested in me, again with this phrase, I bid you journey forth as my envoy into the great realm of Eorzea. Walk her fields, brave her seas, and strive to know her better. And wheresoever you go, go without fear. For the path shall be ever revealed to those who are true of heart. Guided by the light, the crystal's light, set forth and discover your destiny. Why is that scene not voice acted? What in the world? That has so many huge, long-lasting ramifications as to like how the alliance and all that works. Why is everything that I just saw not voice acted? All of it. Everything. Like, when we look back at Endwalker and, like, bringing the Alliance together, why is anything helping set this up not voice acted? The chance that somebody might click through this? That's such a bummer. All right. That's so weird. Um, I do want my... I don't want to see my help. It's character configuration, right? Item settings. UI. Maybe it's system settings. 
It won't show some helms because I'm Roth. I don't want to see any helms, other than unless they do something like that where they tell me to put on a helm. On the character gear menu. Okay. Character. Check the box under my portrait. Oh, just flat character menu. Oh, gross. Okay. There it is. Thank you. Oh, and then I can even turn this off. Oh, that looks way better. That looks way better. Because I don't have cool looking weapons yet. So it's not really worth showing. All right. Back to the car line canopy. I'm in like basic level like gear. I'm dressed like a normal person. Like some of these people are dressed nicer than me. So, I don't know. I don't know that my Realm Revoice character has a... Can you New Game Plus the Grand Company stuff? Because if so, I probably want to leave my main to do Twin Adders again. I don't know what all you can can do with that. So I need to pick somebody different with it. It is good to see you up and about again, Meteor. Tell me, did you pay the Elder Seed Seer a visit as I paid? Yeah. Appointed personal envoy. Yay! And now you are to bear the Elder Seed Seer's missive to our allies. Well, it seems you've made an impression on the Great Woman. I can't argue with her judgment, though. You've earned this honor with tireless hard work. You've been at this, oh, easily a week now. And anyone who says you don't deserve it had better not do so where I can hear them. There would be consequences. I find myself praising you so much over this whole week I've known you, but Mother is truly proud of you. Short of a warrior of light, I can imagine no better adventure to represent us. And that, my lad, is some compliment. <laughs> but I've flattered you enough for one day. And I don't want your head to get too big, or you'll struggle to lug it around the realm. Speaking of which, Eorzea is a big old place. Now that you have an airship pass, you can really start to broaden your horizons. The sky's quite literally the limit. Even if our errand didn't call for it, I would strongly suggest visiting the two other city-states of the Alliance before you go anywhere else. They are, of course, Lemsa Lamensa. City of Pirates, and Ulda, Jewel of the Desert. Once you've acquainted yourself with them, you can turn your sights on whichever lesser trodden regions take your fancy. The Calamity changed the face of Eorzea, and much of her now lies in shadow, beyond man's ken. It is a veritable playground for a wide-eyed adventure like your good self. Mind you, it won't be all fun and games. Each nation faces its share of problems, from internal strife to conflict with beast tribes and their primals. So don't be too surprised if you find yourself embroiled in an odd, unsavory situation on your travels. But no matter what difficulties you encounter, I'm confident you'll pull through and emerge stronger for the experience. You've proven quite good at murder. These interesting times for Eorzea Meteor, it's been five years now since the Calamities. But folks are beginning to look to the future. They're beginning to slay local species again, just like they used to. Oh, a period of great changes upon us. And you have a part to play in it. If that prospect doesn't excite you, with all the free murdering, I don't know what will.
All right. <laughs> Downstairs we go. The flight schedule. All right, here we go. I'm ready. Greetings, good sir. This is the reservation counter for the Lemsel and Mincebound flights. Ho! Oh, are you not a media derplander, the eldest eats here's personal envoy? We at High Wind Skyways are honored to serve you. Will you be flying with us today? You must not get very many people that you can call out by name when you first meet them. Ooh. When's the last time any of you took an airship? Okay. Off we go. They're powered by Cowbell. That's what's happening there. Attention all passengers! The airship bound for Limsalimits is about to depart. Please make your way to the boarding gate. Excuse me. They can't let a bunch of people fly on them. They have to restrict the flights, but therefore I'm riding alone? There's less flights. Shouldn't it be packed? <sighs> Those look like beehives. Those are my favorite waves, the ones that are like a full body shake. Farewell, Meteor. One day, minstrels will sing of your deeds. Mostly the one minstrel. May you ever walk in the light of the crystal. I don't understand why it's so limited that it flies empty, though. From a supply demand standpoint, it should be limited, but also every flight should be full. Resolution really cut back suddenly. <laughs> it just suddenly plummeted to like 720p. <laughs> realm riddled with false gods twice now it has eluded the Empire's grasp for all the destruction it wrought even meteor the great sin failed to yield us control over it 
And for this failure, the realm has sunk deeper into depravity. It is twisted beyond all reckoning, rotten nigh to the core. Yet, it must be saved. Only Garlean rule can bring order to Eorzea. It falls to us to deliver the misguided masses from their ignorance. We are of one mind, Lord Van Balzar. Hey, is the Legatus really planning to take another tilt at Eorzea? Hey, what hole have you been hiding in? We're in the midst of preparing for a new campaign, and a huge one at that. But I thought the Emperor had given up the Western lands for lost after Cartano. What could the Legatus possibly hope to gain by acting alone? I sense you harbor certain doubts over the wisdom of the Legatus's plan. <clears throat> uh, my, my lord! Please, call me Nero. Tell me, where were you born? Othard, my lord. Alamigo, my lord. Ah, codename Hummingway, I presume? I... I don't know what you... Silence. Your denials will not change your fate. I assure you, Frumentarium sees all. Clean up this mess, and do not miss any, or I shall be most displeased. At, at, at once, my lord. Garland. Soon you will be made to know the true power of Magitech. <laughs> <laughs> 